Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we are gonna learn about moments. This is a physical term, physical concept we can say and it's nothing but just a mathematical operation or calculation we can say. Uh, we can also use this function in image processing. So in this video we are gonna learn how to use it in image processing side. This basically takes two input. First one is just the image or a point array or contour array we can say. And the second one defaultly false you can only make it true if and only if your input is image not array and this is the simply how to use this function before passing to the code part let's more detail check this moments separate to three categories first one is spatial and the second one is central moments and the third one central normalized moments this is uh, related with the few moments which we are gonna see in the next video here. Where was that? Okay, this one. Uh, this is just uh, correspond seven moments of uh, moments concept we can say. And we are gonna learn this in the next video. For this video we are gonna skip this. And the first one spatial moments and the second one central moments we are gonna learn. And here there is detailed description which you can check more detail I'm gonna talk little bit also about this and these moments I just get this image from Gary Bretzky open CV book uh, the last two line we are gonna see in the next video which we are calling this few moments and the other one is just the order representing the they are categorized according to the order of the moments and the spatial or central they are they are categorized in that way we are gonna more closely look at the sec first second line because the other one we are gonna use them in more complicated operation of image processing they are mostly gradient or other type we are using in complicated operations okay and here uh, I said to you I'm gonna focus M0 to 0 1 0 and 0 1 which already they are also uh, giving some explanations about them for example if j and i is zero just this summation this is the summation integral we can call they are gonna give us just because if you make j and i zero these two is gonna be one 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 times one is gonna be one so you are just this one will be left and at the end m0 to 0 is gonna be nothing but just the area of contour or point array you are gonna give and uh, in here they are not mentioned that but m0 to 0 is just uh, the number of contour inside which is contour area we are calling but if if you make j1 and i0 then you only calculating the weight we are calling these things this pixel values weight you are only gonna calculate the x you are only gonna sum the x weights yay because the y is gonna be 1 because of i is 0 here is gonna be 1 and you are only gonna calculate the summation of x weights and this divided by the all of the uh, the number of the pixels the, the area of the contour if you divide it by area which is the weight summation of x is gonna give you the mass centers x axis otherwise it's gonna give you y axis uh, these two first and the zeroth order of the moments we can use for example in this way other gradients type second and third order of the moments can be used in more complex operations and let's pass to the code part to be able of uh, this example you are gonna remember from the previous videos if you didn't check please check it this is nothing but just um, making the operation of contour finding and this is input and this is the output just to remind and we can create a vector which is gonna keep my moments in the M and I need to initialize it with the same size of contour size and I already create my moments now I'm gonna manipulate that array just start with M 
and it's gonna be equal to moments contours each contour we are gonna calculate and what is wrong here um, sorry okay now I'm just manipulating my moments array by changing for each contours moments and after that I can directly see out that to see in the output uh, which is gonna be mi dot now I can see all of the moment type in here which is I'm gonna start with m0 to 0 I said to you this is represent the area of contour to be able to show we can call the contour area which we already learned so I can uh, calculate by this and at the output I'm expecting this two value is gonna be equal to each other and let's see the result okay now I have uh, eight contours in the image and I see that this moment and this contour area values are equal to each other which is my theory is correct and what else I also said to you the mass center of each contour is calculated by this formula so we are gonna use it now uh, let's create a point to be able to see in the image in the output with imshow let's call it center and my x axis is gonna be just nothing but i dot m one zero if i'm not wrong the other gonna be m zero one okay divided by m zero to zero and the second one is just gonna be change from one zero to zero one and this is gonna give me the center mass center of each contour so i can uh, make it number in the output um, which is gonna be with circle maybe i can draw in the out and the center is gonna be center radius 15 let's start make it yellow and thickness is gonna be filled let's see the result okay now I'm able to see center mass center point of each contour where are they you can see in the image yeah and uh, in the other type of moments for example we talk about this this and this we the this type of second and third order or the other one is gradient the second one the third one they are calling in different name I don't remember these are used in more complex operations so I'm not gonna uh, get into them maybe in another video in another project we can use them I don't know which one we can use but uh, these are we are gonna talk later but this the last two lines hue variance which is gonna give us a good um, result to separate contours shapes between each other we are gonna see this in the next video and uh, the calculation is very easy to understand also it depends to the green theorem but no need to go even there here the formula is very clear and very easy it's nothing but just summation and in this video i just wanted to talk about moments to make an introduction in the next video we are going to learn about few moments see you in the next video